A dear friend of mine lives an active lifestyle. He walks 5 to 10 kilometers every day. He does gym exercises from time to time and takes only two meals a day. However, he is still having the overweight problem, has poor sleep quality, joint problems, and other health issues. But why wasn't his active lifestyle and less food helping his problems? I found that they all relate to his lifestyle. Today, I will talk about first thing, cold drinks. I found that Western cultures prefer cold drinks. People drink water from their built-in filter in the fridge. The restaurant here serves icing cold water before meal. This one. Some people may even feel that they cannot tolerate drinks of food that are above room temperature. So they drink only cold water when thirsty, having icing water, beer, or soft drink with meals, and have multiple cold drinks in the pub during socializing. Do you aware how many cold drinks do you usually have in a day or a week? You may be surprised. Have you noticed that many East Asians like Chinese, Japanese, Korean people always drink warm water or hot tea. At Chinese restaurant, for example, they usually serve a cup of hot tea after seating you. That's a secret of why most Asians are slimmer than the Westerners. Because most of the time we drink warm, seldom drink cool, and rarely drinking icing cold. You may wonder, we use fridge to keep our veggies, meat, and all food fresh. Why aren't cold drinks friendly to our body? You see, those foods you kept in the refrigerator are pretty much dead already. They have left their life sauce and couldn't sustain too long. They will quickly wilt or grow bacteria if you leave them in the room. By the way, not all bacteria are bad for your health. I will talk about it in other video. So your body is a living thing, that's why you have a body temperature. If coldness will do you good, your body temperature shall be much lower to make itself comfortable, shouldn't it? But no, only a dead body will have a cold body temperature. That's why in the lab, they keep dead bodies in the cooler, and the same reason you keep food in the fridge. Obviously, 36 to 37 Celsius is an ideal temperature for your body. When you have a cold drink, your body has to exhaust more energy to 1. Keep its temperature to keep you alive. 2. To warm up the cold food you just put in so that it can digest them well. If it happens once or twice, you might not feel much difference. But if it happens all the time, your body will definitely be too exhausted, costing your overall system worse. The first thing cold drinks will impact you is your digestive system. Your metabolism becomes less efficient. All the food you take cannot be fully digested. So your body can only store those meat products as fat in your body. You are then overweight and later develop other health issues like diabetes, high cholesterol, heart problems, joint inflammation, and so on. By the way, you can refer to my other videos about three weight loss mistakes that people make. Drinking warm water and hot tea will bring many benefits to your body. I can talk about drinking some herb tea, do magic to your health in other video. But now, Let's just talk about drinking warm water. Warm water, they are warm and because they are high in energy. When you take them, your body is giving extra energy and become more efficient in all functions including digestion, circulation, metabolism, immune, reproduction, and so on. From Qi and Qigong's perspective, drinking or eating cold food will cause damp qi. 70% of our body is water, you know it. Any food you take in will be digested into water and qi. Your body needs new qi and water to support its normal functions. 
and then it will produce waste most in liquid form. So the whole process is about water metabolism. When you have cold drinks, you interrupt the water metabolism process because water moves much slower when it gets colder. Then it becomes damp chi and stays in your system as fat. So overweight problem is not necessarily caused by taking too much food. It usually is having water metabolism issue because of damp chi. Damp chi is the number one reason to diseases. If you can get rid of damp chi, you can solve many illnesses without changing your diet. There are four other reasons why you get ill. I will talk about them in other videos. If you stay away from any cold drinks for one month, two months, and three months, I can guarantee you that you will experience many good changes in your body health. In the next episode, I will talk about cooked food. So stay tuned.